Hello, this is Max Drake. I want to talk to you about Glide apps and connecting to them. Um, and I want to talk about it in re relation to this particular app that I'm doing here. This is an app for people to translate into different languages, ideas. Um, so here's the, the German version of it. It has some information. If you click on it, it's got some German information. It details on the website as to where it is, etc., etc. But it's in ger German and uh, it has some other information uh, where you can get to the buses and other things like that. So it's a general information one. Uh, people will just trot up. They'll come onto the bus, you know, tour around and things like that. So how do they access the app? Now we could actually put the QR code into here, but um, I recently had an experience where somebody who I thought was reading tech savvy couldn't find a scanner on his phone to do a V card. So I was not very pleased. We could copy a link here and then we could actually just pay, as paste it in an email and send it on to them and say, there you go. But when you've got a whole load of people coming on and off your bus, you're not going to be asking them for an email and then stopping and trying to type in the information. You would like them to actually do those things. So how can we do that? Well, one way that they can do it is that they can send you an email. So we can actually set up an email template here. And I'm just going to use Thunderbird here. And um, uh, I'm going to do another one. Um, and I will grab something from there. So sorry, I've just got to um, go into there. And uh, wow. Uh, so from this one here, so this account I'm going to write from that account. Um, and I'm going to have ho ho 24. Right. Um, uh, something's gone a bit. Um, and I'm just going to then say here is app link. Uh, I think I'd also in an email I'd put it in three or four different translations so that they was very clear or explicit what it is. So I'm actually just going to take that link from there and I'm going to put it into the other one there. And there's a little bit of extra blurb that you can put in on what I'm really demonstrating is the principles here. So on here I can save as a template. So that's saved as a template through there. Then what I can actually do in tools, I can actually make a message filter. So it's from the Drake Hotmail account, and it's a new one. And the filter name is going to be ho ho 24 And the subject contains ho ho 24 And what we want to do is we want to reply with a template and the template that we want to reply with is that one there and we go okay so um i'm not going to do run now i'm just going to leave that there i think that's why this one's going absolutely nuts um i'm then going to go into another one here Oops, that one seems to be running it seems to totally have automated itself um, which is not what i wanted so in here i'm going to write to uh, um, that one there and on the subject line I'm going to put ho ho 24 um, and I've got the caps on there and uh, I'm going to send that so I'm sending that from my gmail account through and um, I've got lots and lots of ones coming through here. And there's the HoHo24. So, uh, sorry now. That's the one sent. I'm always getting confused with these ones. So they've received that. And this one here should have got one back. And here is the link into there. So I've automated something and I've just got it running massively, so I should turn that off. But basically, you can actually automate that so that if they send an email to you, you can do that. The nice thing with that is that, um, sorry, an awkward thing with that is you actually have to have quite a simple email address because again the people that you're trying to to reach are people who've got english as a second language and their mobile phones may be in chinese or they may be in arabic so the text may be not there so you want quite a simple thing to text um so be aware of that um i have my own uh vp and i actually run my own um uh 
email server so I can actually look at getting shorter email addresses. But again, if you actually have something at gmail.com, it's quite common. So maybe, you, you know, hop on, hop off, ho, 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 24 at, at, at gmail.com might be an easy one to actually remember. And it also goes into the title. So just that's one way of actually getting people to go and get that information. They could go to the website and, and there's a hot link on there, which you'd actually have for your app as well. There's a second way that I want to talk about, but unfortunately, because I'm doing a screencast where screen mirroring is playing up, so I'm going to do it in a separate video, and that is actually using an SMS uh, messaging process. So um, this is part one of a two-part process. So if you found it interesting, can you please give a thumbs up at the bottom of the video? Thank you very much indeed.